Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a testing out Misguided's new beauty range. So as you can see, everything is still all packed up. I haven't looked at anything, so this is quite exciting. Um, so this cost me quite a bit of money. <laughs> Um, and I watched Sarah Ashcroft's YouTube video, which I'll link down below, um, to kind of gauge what shades and colours and things that I would be best getting. Um, as you can see, my face is quite pale compared to my body as I have fake tan on. Um, I am thinking of doing a fake tanning routine so if that's something that you would like to see then leave let me know in the bottom um, so yeah let's get stuck in oh, I'll go through pricing and everything so I'll get that up on here okay so the concealer which I got in the shade 100 was £8 and it looks like this and then the blusher I got in the shade about last night and that was £8 which looks like this. Let's see if I can... Which looks like this. It's quite a nice shade. This is foundation. Okay, this is a good shade. So I got this in the shade found it um, 10 and that was £12, which looks like this. Oh, so I got the Super Fix spray and that was £10 as well. And it's the Super Fix Fix In Mist. So it's like, it's like a kind of, oh, that's good. has a, a smell to it as well which I'm quite sure what that smells of so this is the first first base primer and that was 10 pounds looks like that so this is high lit highlighter I got that in the shade Golden Hour and that was £10 as well. It's a really pretty shade. So this is Lids. I'm not sure what this is. Uh-huh, honey. <laughs> um, what is this? Oh, it's um, a pigment for your eyelids, which looks like this. Quite a dark shade. They didn't have any... Um, eyeshadow palettes so I think this was the only kind of eye thing that they did and this was nine pounds this is the instant vacay I got this in the shade dark and I got this was ten pounds as well so this is a bronzer with two different sides so a lighter one and a darker one um, and it's a completely matte finish to it so this is a Oh Hey Brow Micro Precision Pencil. I got in the shade Medium. That looks quite dark. Don't know if you can see that. And then it has a little brush spoolie on the other end see how that looks because that looks quite dark but it, and, oh and that was eight pounds I think they had two shades darker dark and extra dark or something and then these two so that's quite a dark shade pick up liner wooden wood lip liner I got in the shade bougie and this was six pounds looks like this quite a pinky tone which I quite enjoy I got a water 
this is water yes a waterproof gel liner uh, no a waterproof um yeah it says waterproof gel liner um slick flick in the shade double espresso and this was six pounds as well that looks quite soft got a brow gel so this is in the shade medium uh, right now brow and this was six pounds oh looks like this i then got a contour stick um in the shade d9 and this was nine pounds so it's like a chunky contour stick i got a lip gloss in the shade what went down this was seven pound fifty and it's like a pinky nude shade lip gloss which is a shade that I wear quite often. I then got a lipstick in the shade No Drama. This was £8.50. So that's the shade. It's in a bullet form with the misguided engraved on the top. That's a nice shade. Was a mascara, the real thick lashes. They had a few different types of mascaras, but I wanted the vol mega volume one, which looks like this. And that was £10. So let's jump in to trying the makeup out. So as you can see, I have got absolutely no makeup on and I've just washed my face, I've got nothing on. So this is what my skin looks like before I've got a bit of redness around my lips and mouth section here but yeah no and just a big head here but other than that nothing else so I'm gonna go on with the first burst mattifying primer so I'm gonna use this one first so I think I'm just gonna use my hands, my hands are clean. Just apply a small pea size like that. Ooh. Quite grainy. That's strange. It has like a grain, grainy texture to it. Um, not sure how I feel about that but it has smoothed my skin out it says minimize the appearance of pores with a flawless base non-greasy formula with oil absorbent dermatologically tested so I have quite oily skin so we'll see how that looks why is this so dark so the next thing I'm going to go in with is my foundation in the shade meet your match demi matte foundation in the shade 10 so I'll we'll see what this looks like I'm gonna apply it with a flat brush um, it's quite yellow I mean the match isn't terrible I think I got the shade right it's just very yellow I don't know how well you can see that I mean the finish of it isn't horrible it's just quite yellow but I don't know if that's just because my skin's quite pale at the moment So this is what the foundation looks like. Yeah, you can see that, it's quite yellow. I 
Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't look that bad. This tan I put on Wednesday on this tan I put on on Wednesday, and it's now Friday, so it's had a few days to kind of wash off. So yeah. So then we're going to go in with the concealer. So this I think might be a bit too white, a bit too pale, but anyway, we can we'll work with it. So I'm just going to apply this under here, just in this little section under my eyes and then up here so it really brings my eyes up and then I'm just going to take my sponge and blend that all together it blends in nicely I didn't buy a powder on the website. I think I must have been looking for a loose one. Um, so I might have to just use my normal powder. I don't know whether that's just blended into nothing. dark there we go it's a bit brighter I don't know what was happening there I think I must have switched some of the settings around um, you can see me now <laughs> technology right so I've just done my concealer and now I'm gonna go on and do my contour so I'm using my contour stick and I'm just gonna contour all the usual areas that I do. So starting off with my cheek. Oh, hello. So that takes a few times to warm up a bit. Down my nose. And across my jaw. Like that. So I'm going to blend that all together now. So I'm going to use my sponge. Oh. Definitely not blending as easy as the concealer. But it's giving a really nice colour. See? To be honest, I don't think I'm really using the correct. There you go. That's not that bad, you know. Okay, so having issues and powder. So I'm gonna just use my own powder for this because I didn't actually, I forgot to pick the pressed powder up that they do on the website. So I'm just gonna use my Match Perfection Loose Translucent one under my eyes and um, hope for the best. To be fair, doesn't really need setting that much because all the products are quite um, mattifying so I don't know whether if you have quite dry skin if these if you'd have to put I didn't put a moisturizer on so if you'd have to put quite a like a hydrating um, moisturizer on before in the mirror it doesn't actually look that bad it looks very like um, fresh looking my face this eye is a bit sore at the minute, I'm um, not sure why, but you know, I could use these face products again. So right, we're going to move on to eyebrows, so as always, I'm going to do my soap 
brows. So for this I just take my brow, my soap, and then we're actually gonna use the setting spray that I bought. And I just rub my spoolie in the soap and then run it through my brows. I might zoom in actually on my brows. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so brows, brush up. brows brushed upwards um, and now I don't know if this is going to be too dark but we'll, we'll soon find out. I'm just going to let these set a little bit, let them dry. So they did two different types of brow product. I got the pencil but they also do like a pen which I've seen is quite good and um, so I don't know whether I might purchase that um, as well, but I'm gonna see what this is like first. And yeah. So I'm just gonna go in and fill in any sparse areas. too bad so I'm gonna fill in this side as well now brows look quite natural still you can see that there's hairs through them hmm quite like that I'm more about the natural brows at the moment um yeah Ooh. okay so whilst I'm still whilst I'm zoomed in I might as well go on to the eyelids so for this I got this liquid, this like gel pot, you see it's like a bronzy, shade, like that, and this is in the shade Aha uh -huh, Honey, so I'm just going to apply that on the eyelid. I think I might just add some of the bronzer actually. So I'm going in with the bronzer, this one in the shade dark and I'm just going to define my crease a little bit. the bronzer and now I'm going to go in with the actual eyeshadow base. So for this I'm just going to take it on a flat brush like this and apply that onto my eyelids. Mm, it's very um, glittery. It's quite a subtle shimmer. I think you can actually build the colour up with this. I'm going to add some into my inner corner as well. So 
that's the eyes. I'm gonna add the mascara. So for this, I will first of all start off by curling my eyelashes. And then taking the real thick lash mascara like this it's a very thick brush it's very similar to my NARS Climax mascara so that's one with and one without so there is quite a natural mascara I do also have a brown eyeliner which I'm going to use as well so this is in the shade um, double espresso it's like this it's very creamy so I'm gonna put that into my inner corner and into my lower lash line So I did actually forget that I bought this, the brow gel, so I'm just going to run that through my brows. So that's one with brow gel and that's one without brow gel. I have to say the products are quite dark um, for my blonde hair so that's the top half done and we're going to move back onto the face so for the face I'm going to go into my bronzer so this is the one that I used on my eyes um, instant vacay in the shade dark which looks like this and I'm going to just mix them all together so taking a brush and just swirling gives you a really nice sun-kissed look. Yeah, I'm not actually that mad at this makeup. A bit under the chin. And then I'm going to use my blusher. So, so for the blusher I got, uh, stop, I'm the, the oh, why is it so hard to open? So I got the shade about last night, which looks like this. There was quite a few different variations, but I got this kind of peachy shade. That's nice as well. So I've just got highlight and lips to do. This is going very well so far. So I'm mm, I'm gonna actually set my face now. So I'm using the Super Fix by Misguided. It's like an air canister. I think the Morphe one's in a similar bottle to this. Um, so I'm gonna. Ooh. Oh God. Ooh. A lot comes out of there. Oh my God. That's, <laughs> it's, um, it smells nice. It smells like a body spray, but it literally, drenched me <laughs> so I'm gonna do my highlight now so I got the high lit in the shade golden hour which looks like this so 
So I'm going to use my fan brush. And do I? So that's just the, my radiance. Is that even? There we go. So it's really pretty shimmery shade. It blends into your skin. Ooh. So the last thing is lips. So I'm gonna zoom into my lips. So for lips, I went with the lip liner in the shade Bougie. Which looks like this. It's like a pinky shade like that. So I'm gonna line my lips. It goes on really well. It's a very similar shade to my lips actually, which is quite good. So that's the lip liner. And then I'm going in with my lipstick. So this is No Drama, which looks like this. And I'm just gonna apply that into the lips. It's very soft. Yeah, I'd say that those, that lip liner and lip gut stick are pretty much the similar shade. So if you're looking for a lipstick and a lip liner that match, I'd go for the shade Bougie and No Drama. They seem to be quite a pair. And then lastly, I'm going in with my lip li lipstick. All, by the way, all these products are actually cruelty free says on the back of them here vegan cruelty free so if you're looking for some products that are vegan and cruelty free then misguided have you sorted okay so this is the lip stick lip, lip the lip gloss it's like this I was wondering why it was um, going matte. It's not a lipstick, a lip gloss, it's a li liquid lipstick. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh well. It's a nice color. I'm gonna just go around and neaten up my lipstick I might actually add my lipstick on top because this is quite a dry formula if you are looking for a lip combo which works well these are all very similar in colour so yeah, so this is the finished look. Do you know what? I think that this is a really nice makeup look. I'd be definitely using these products again. Mm. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again on Friday with another video. Thanks for watching.